Andy, thank you so much for taking the time out for, for Patty and I. You're welcome, Morris. Welcome, Patty. We were having a meeting with um, Chan earlier on, just speaking about the, the 2014 regulations and how yeah. uh, they impacted on the importance of, of race fuel. Yeah. And we wondered what, uh, what's been the real game changer for you this season. Yeah, I think, uh, I think obviously you talked to Chan about the fuel. In fact, the changes in the regs this year, they're really significant for the lubricants too. Really the main thing is the, the downsizing of the power unit. So we go from a, a 2.4 litre V8 uh, to a 1.6 litre V6, really with the same output or, or even better output, and that increases uh, the power per litre ratio. Okay, so is that resulting in uh, the engines running much hotter this season? Or? Yeah, they're, they're running much hotter, and that, that's a challenge for us. We've had to re-engineer uh, Petronas Sintium for, for the race car uh, for this year. So this year we've, we've got a carefully balanced mixture of synthetic base oil and that's to help cool the engine. It's running much hotter. And then polymer viscosity boosters, they kick it, they kick it in a higher temperature to help stop the oil from thinning. Okay, so, so Pat, is that, is the thinning, is that related to, uh, does that impact on friction or is that related to friction? Yeah, no, friction is a real killer on a Formula One car and uh, particularly on the engine. So friction uh, reduces the power, yeah. it also creates heat, which you've then got to cool. Yeah. Um, but worst of all, it uh, damages the engine. And uh, this year, you have only five power units to get you through the whole season, uh, which is a lot of, lot of mileage per mm -hmm. engine. So the, uh, the lubricant and how it protects the engine is absolutely crucial to the championship. So, uh, you know, we work very closely with Patronus. They work very closely uh, in the design of the engine to make sure that was all uh, correct from the beginning. So it sounds like uh, having Petronas on board from day one has been a, an integral part of, of our team's success this year. Absolutely crucial. I think the uh, results speak for themselves. Yeah. The big question is, is the oil in my race car the same as the Petronas Sintium that's sold in all the petrol stations around the world? Yeah, essentially yes, Lewis. I think Formula for one for us is, is a real-time laboratory where we can adopt and stretch uh, new lubricant technologies, really testing them in the most severe manner. And we take that learning back and we can re-engineer then our Pet Petronas Sintium range, taking what we've learned from Formula One. For example, Petronas uh, Sintium 7000 is a factory for oil for the AMG M133 engine, and that's filled into a family of high-performance uh, Mercedes-Benz cars. Formula One might be at one extreme end of the technology curve, but whether, whether it's a new car or it's, or whether it's people just everyday driving, they want the best products yeah. and with the latest performance engineered by experts and that's what we were able to achieve through Formula One for the Petronas Sintium range. Well that's it from me, Lewis Hamilton here at the PLI factory in Italy. I hope that we've been able to shed some light on the crucial role that Petronas Premax Fuel and Petronas Cynthia Moore have played in the success that myself and the rest of the team have enjoyed this season and how this can benefit everyone on the road every day. So thanks for now, see you soon.